So there's a couple words I want to get out here. It's called God food. <laughs> food, people. <laughs> it's like, what is the definition of a food? <laughs> Something you shove in your mouth regularly for your constant gratification. <laughs> your nourishment. <laughs> you know? It's called God food. <laughs> it's like you put it in here regularly all the time, every day, for all the days of your life. <laughs> for your maximum body, happiness, hurt, nourishment, joy, delight, growth, pleasure, increase. Wow! <laughs> oh, praise God. So I wanted to get that word out. Theobroma equals son of man. The, the great, the most frequent title of Jesus, God in the flesh. Hello. And then... Um, what was the other word uh, I was... Oh yeah, this is the other word I want to get out. My message hasn't changed in over a year and a half. And guys, Mount Baker is not going to move. Hallelujah. And that is an official mountain that God has ordained in my life in this journey, Okay, which equals Coco. I preached on that from the very beginning. In fact, it's been well over a year since that revelation came to me, that word from the Lord, that Mount Baker equals Theobroma Cacao, Baker equals Cocoa, the start of the word breakfast, which is how you should begin your day, every day, for maximum health, longevity, and happiness. And so I'm here to preach once again. Mount Baker is not going to move. And it's not going to lose its name. And it's not going to change until Jesus Christ comes back. That's exactly the story of Coco. <laughs> there are many silly uh, businesses and diet ideas and offerings in cities all over the world that are coming and going like flies. <laughs> all, all of this ridiculous mask wearing is another fly, okay? But Mount Baker is here to stay permanently. <laughs> and that is the official mountain, okay, that God ordained in my life and in the life of all humans who know the word of the Lord to equal Mount Coco, Theobroma Cacao in total. It's so perfect. And then you can do as I do because I'm a deep researcher on all things. You can uh, research on Wikipedia where the, the name Bake Mount Baker came from, and it was from an English explorer, okay? Um, in the days of George Vancouver and his crew, okay? And that is the blessing of God. God told us to fill the earth and subdue it, to, to chart everything, to name everything, uh, to map it, and be masters over it, okay? And, um, but amazing, uh, but of course God is sovereign, uh, over everything from the end to the beginning, okay? Certainly everything that lasts, that he has a plan for, yada, yada, yada. All right, so all that to say is that Coco lasts. <laughs> My message hasn't changed in over a year and a half, okay? Coco is here to stay just like Mount Baker is here to stay. Mount Baker will always be exactly where it is with its precise name, and its precise spelling looming over the entire Pacific Northwest, no matter what changes in the buildings, the brands, the businesses, the people who live or don't here, Mount Baker will always be there. <laughs> Just like Mount Coco will always be the answer. <laughs> Mount Baker equals Theobroma Cacao, God food I am, and Baker equals Coco, which begins the word breakfast. Hallelujah. So, and it, be, it, it equals the word begin. How do you begin your breakfast? Coco, how do you begin your day? Coco, how do you begin any enterprise or anything that is going to glorify God? With God food. It all makes perfect sense according to all God glorifying uh, desire and uh, scripture. Okay. And uh, so I wanted to get those words out. If I ever get a good word from the Lord and I have the video camera, um, I'm probably going to turn it on and preach it. Record it in history, okay? Um, 
So those are some good words for you. It's called theobroma, which means God food. <laughs> what is the definition of a food? <laughs> Something you shove in here regularly, constantly, for your nourishment, growth, and gratification. <laughs> Sounds like a lifer. All day, every day, doesn't it? <laughs> well, that's cocoa. Pure natural cocoa. Do not buy, like, once you get... Yeah, I, folks, I don't buy any of these prostituted, don't buy a single prostituted product that calls itself chocolate or something stupid like that. You will not reach the highest levels of happiness that God wants for you. Plus, you've just brought a whole bunch of people behind that product into slavery. Plus, it's all inefficient. Plus, you've wasted your own money. Garbage. Just Let's just bring an end to all of this ridiculous, uh, silly product madness. Give people the very best every single day and stop farting around with all of this slavery, okay? Um, <clears throat> and then what was the other word we had uh, other than the definition of food, which is placed in the name God food, <laughs> um, is the steadfastness of Mount Baker. The total ordained an unchanging, lasting nature and God-glorifying or ordinance of the cocoa-centric diet. It will never lose. It will always be looming over the people. It will always win. It will always be the same. It will always work. And it will always be there, unchanging as a mountain. Hallelujah. Um, and, uh, oh, that's good. Praise God. Praise God indeed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh yeah, and then this word just came to me. This was a revelation we had a long time ago. You can pull up the old video. The famous words in the Bible, Jesus Christ the same, yesterday, today, and forever. Wow, what an awesome truth that is. It's the exact same with the, the God food gratification, the physical linchpin of the human diet. Remember, Jesus equals double cocoa, and Jesus Christ the same, equals triple Jesus. That was a revelation we had. So Jesus Christ the same equals Coco, 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 Coco. <laughs> equals Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Equals cross, cross, cross. Equals bitter, bitter, bitter. Equals gospel, gospel, gospel. So that every time you drink the brown, bitter cocoa, it reminds you of the price that Jesus paid on the brown, bitter cross that purchased your maximum happiness and sweetness and freedom on the inside of you forever. And that is exactly what God chose to do with God food cocoa. It's brown and bitter on your lips, but on the inside, it's perfect freedom maximum happiness, total joy, total deliverance, and it's yours for free for a lifetime. That's the physical counterpart of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Someone praise his name and get in on it, get in on it, and get in on it big. You can drink as much as you want. Hallelujah.